All right, guys, what's going on? It's been a while. It's been a little bit of a while. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, it has been 13 months since I played FIFA. Um, it's just obviously I'm hugely busy with college these days during the summer term. It's I'm still full time, unfortunately. Um, things have been a little bit busy, and yeah, I just kind of I've got out of the swing of making videos. And unfortunately, I kind of need a little bit of a break as well, so I kind of enjoy this. But if you're wondering why I didn't go back to my Yana career mode or my youth one, I've just like with the transfer window open now and things have been made obviously with United signing certain people I just didn't feel like going back to that save um, and I feel like it's the perfect time to move on and play as Juventus. Now the reason I'm playing as Juventus as the video title will suggest this is the last time I'll ever get a chance to do a Juventus career mode so I've decided to to whip them up and and see how we get on with them so obviously you know Juventus pretty much the premier team from Italian football the last probably 10 years um, fantastic, you know, they, they buy really well, they, of course, they got Cristiano Ronaldo, a stacked team, and it's interesting to see them next season, what they're going to do, uh, I think they're definitely a team that, you know, in, I think the next year, those, this is the time I think they'll really start to make, you know, either we'll see if they're as good as, you know, they are on paper, or will they crumble under the pressure, I think Ronaldo's definitely going to have to be, a, you know, a big step in that direction, but we'll see what happens, anyway, first of all, let's go through the transfer history so obviously you guys didn't know Juventus is going to be called like Pikianko or what, what actually is the name called let me look it up again Juventus's name will be by Monte Calcio which means something like the farm or wherever it is but anyway enough of that crap um yeah let's get into this that's dark on my screen. anyway enough of the chat let's get into the business I've done here I bought three players well, I bought two and I've kind of traded one. So let's go through the first deal, obviously, on the list. With I still it, brilliant signing by Juventus. I mean, that's an absolutely brilliant signing for them. I think that's probably going to be one of the, you know, the all-time signings that Juventus will, will make. And 65 million worth every penny. I bought Balashi because I wanted, a, you know, a true in-and-out striker. I don't like Manzukic very much. And Moise Keane's a bit, you know, far down the way. So that was the plan there. And I decided to swap Douglas Costa for Fiedria Chiesa. Federico Chiesa, pardon me, I think it's pronounced, yes, yeah, so that's how you pronounce the name. Uh, no time for Douglas Costa, absolute scumbag spitting, so yeah, no time in my team, unfortunately, so off he goes. Um, out the door, I think I probably lost money in that deal, but yeah, at the end of the day, I kind of wanted to pick Chiesa up, so that's my reason there. Um, the Rabiot is a potential deal I looked at, I, I was half tempted to pull the trigger and half not, but at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm, I'm I want to see what the squad's like until January, and then if we need to make any moves in January, we will. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get into these games. Let's get it started here. They were playing AC Milan first off. Let's get it started. The first game here against AC Milan. This is pretty much going to be my starting, you know, number one eleven. As you see, Perrin starts in goal. Alexandro, Delit, Cellini, and Cancelo make up the back. Between in that holding role, Bentancourt, Pjanic in midfield. Then we've got Ronaldo, Belotti and Dybala up front. Let's get into it. There he is, the man of the day. C or 7 making that Juventus debut here for us at the Allianz Stadium. Juventus, AC Milan, Super Cup action. Let's get into it. Weedy. Inside court, get that ball through. It's Miran Pjanic has a chance. Oh, that just didn't fall for us properly at all. First real chance, but Cancelo gets it back. And Blotti do something here. What's Blotti's left foot like? It's good effort. Good bit of play there. First real chance of the game and a first real shot on target as well, pretty much. And but Blotti looking good, just good defense by AC. Chance for AC here. What a save by Perrin. That is absolutely fantastic. That's why he should be Juventus' real number one in real life. Absolutely uttering ball through from Ben Yedder. And Perrin getting the hands to that. Chesney will let that in. Edney Day and twice on Sunday. Thankfully for Perrin there. He gets his hands on it. Trust him. Hands for CR7. What can he work in this game? Well, first chance for Cristiano from a free kick here. Have a look. Can we get one just to whip it around the wall? That's the real question here. Lel won. Oh, jeez, Ronaldo. What was that, mate? What was that? 
Sandro sticks through Cristiano. We haven't really had a chance to get him any time the ball here. Work here. Bentancur. Or Mirlan Pjanic turns the corner. It's a penalty. Alessio Romagnoli picks that up. The yellow card for that. I think he handballed it here, did he? Or did he trip Belosh? It's so difficult to tell what he did there, but I think at the end of the day, I think he probably is at fault for either the handball or the foul there. Got to send this to Ronaldo, don't we? Got to give this to Ronaldo. Come on, Ronnie. Show us what you can do here. Ronaldo versus Donnarumma. And he sticks it straight down the line. What a finish by Ronaldo. Still world class. Still the best player in the world. And the space of half time puts us up 1 0. Well, cool, calm, and collected here. He sent Donnarumma to the left. And he slotted it straight down the middle. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. The eyes into the left corner. Donnarumma follows the eyes and not the ball. Big time goal, big time finish. Kept the ball. Body with a chance to run with these guys now. What's that to Dybala? Dybala has some space here. You shame not to try it, and he puts it right into the bread basket of Donnarumma there. And that is half time. 1 0 up here. A brilliant start to the game for ourselves. Up 1 0 half time, but. I think Milan were probably in the ascendancy for most of that half, but at the end of the day, we're going to half time up 1-0. I'll take that every day. Another chance for Ronaldo to show his case here. Um, I'm trying to think how we're going to do this one. We're going to go for it. Of course we're going to go for it. We have Ronaldo. Might as well have a crack at it. Not a bad effort, but just a little bit too little power of that to turn on Donnarumma. Chance for Cancelo to find some space here. He's going to find Pjanic, absolutely close line tackle that. Finds Dybala, can't get it. Pjanic here again, is the play open. No one there, in the inside ball, it's for Balotti. Yeah, just cannot work that one into the corner, but that was a beautiful effort. Brilliant bit of play, left foot Balotti, just couldn't squeeze it around the corner. Not a bad effort though, want to see more of that. Ronaldo lays it off for Bentancur here. Finds Ronaldo. Ronaldo works something from that. Bit of a glory shot there. Out to Pjanic. Lay it into Dybala. Dybala to make it two. And unfortunately, I think it took a deflection on the way through there. As Donnarumma puts the save in. Lovely bit of play here. Spread the ball across unselfishly. And that's a key block. Is that Romagnoli, I think, making that one? But anyway, time for some changes. Bernadeschi, Chiesa and Rugani in to the field. And I should this in. And quite get there. And a fall for Chiesa. What can Chiesa do in his first shot? First chance. Oh my word. I thought that was in the top corner. What a brilliant chance from Chiesa. What a cracking effort that is. I mean. Just a whisker away that one. Oh. What? Completely ends the run of play. Milan back in this game. Ben Yedder. 1-1. We're going to have to look at the replay here to figure out what happened here because I just did not think this was on at all. Uh, can I have a replay please? I don't want to see Milan celebrating. Dealt with the corner here. It falls out. He has a shot. And it just falls perfectly. Like there's three of my guys there as well. How does he get through? Like there's... I mean wow. There's like five Juventus shirts there and he somehow scores. I mean... Fair play. Fair play. Ridiculous goal and... Yeah, wow, 10 minutes to get the winner. Ronaldo fights for it, gets it through. Chiesa there, onto Bernadeschi. Which foot's Bernadeschi on? It's, oh, he's, oh, sh is he left foot or is he right footed? I couldn't tell. What a chance there on the counter to win that one. What defensive work from Ronaldo. That deserved to go on the counter there. Could that be one we miss out on? Last chance here in this game. In added time, or normal time, I should say. Ronaldo. Ah. What happened here? Last chance, Ronaldo. Beautiful ball. It's Bernadeschi. What can he find here? Back. Oh, it, was that the right call? I don't think it was there. And full time here, 90 minutes, 1 1. 
extra time it is apparently I thought it might potentially go to penalties so 30 more minutes here to decide this one let's break that deadlock There's the stats from the first 90 minutes we've had here. 12 shots to 10. We only had three on target. There are six, which is interesting. 11 tackles to their nine. Yeah, plenty of work to do in this next 30. 15 more minutes to go. Minutes Penalties to looking likely. Bernadeschi picks up Natweedy. Haven't had a chance here. Geza inside to Bentancourt. That ball's just a little bit poor. And the one real chance we've got, we just haven't executed properly. Anything we can work from this. Always so tricky to score in extra time. Cristiano Ronaldo got to take a shot with him, and that's our first real chance here in extra time. And worth the crack, worth the crack every time. Oh no, it's going to fall from perfectly. Perrin to the rescue. Thank you. I'll go to penalties after that. I'll trust my goalkeeper if he makes plays like that. Unfortunately, penalties it is, guys. I was hoping to win in the extra time, but it's so tricky to score in extra time. Here we go. Penalties it is. He's going to take the first penalty. So first up, Alex Sandro. Let's see what he can do here. Beautiful finish from Sandro. That's exactly what we needed. Up comes Ben Yedder. What's in Ben Yedder here? I think he's going to go to the right. Oh, it's close. So close. So close. Yeza, come on Chiesa, do it for me here. Beautiful, send him one way, go the other. Lucas Piqueta, or Piqueta, I don't know how you pronounce the guy's Brazilian's name. Anyway, he's going left. I meant my left. Brilliant job. Bernadeschi here. Go for it here, bit of a bit of a shot in this one. Oh, just telegraphed that too much. Here comes Suso. What a save, parent. What a save. Get in there, my son. Get in there. Piano cheer. Oh, that is just so sweet. What a brilliant, brilliant shot here. Kalinoglu. Give him, give him the ball. Go on. Go for it. I go to the right. Oh, uh, oh, he's missed it. <laughs> Get stuffed, you idiot. Perrin runs the thing. Hero of the day. My man of the match is got to be Perrin. He was fantastic at goal today. Uh, I mean, they could have scored twice. AC man, look at that there. He knew when he hit it, he made a mess of it. That's why you don't do that. You're not Andrea Pirlo. And that is a brilliant, brilliant job by us there. Perrin, the man of the match for me today. And, yep, he should be the one taking the trophy home. There she is, first silverware in the bag, one game, one trophy, not a bad ratio at all, but Blaise Matuidi lifts it up, and now there's going to be quite a few Italians who will be disgusted with that, but yeah, you know, haters gonna hate, brilliant job guys, Delit there, getting his hands on that, fantastic player he's going to be for us, absolute wall about defence, and the fans loving it, a brilliant win for ourselves. So there you have it, 14 shots to 12, well, 3 on target to their 7, we control possession, they had one more tackle than us. Good game, let's look at the performance ratings in the end. Oh interesting, who got man of the match? Seeing Ben Yedder. Not sure I'd disagree with that, but I think he was pretty good. Um, yeah, look at that, Perrin 7.7, .7. Ronaldo 7.7, .7. I thought they are brilliant players, so. Yeah, happy with that performance, first silver in the back, let's get into the next game. So second game here in charge against Kievo Verona. I don't know who they are. Perrin in goal. Alexander, Cellini, Delit, and Jao Cancelo make up the back four. Matuidi, Pjanic, and Bentancur in the midfield. Ronaldo, Belotti, and Dybala rounding out our best starting 11. Yeah, that team. Let's get into it. So here we are. Serie A first game action. Kievo Verona hosting Juventus. Belotti. Streaks out to Ronaldo. Go on, Ronaldo. This is where you make your money worth. You're playing against a B Tech team here. Inside to Dybala. 
The ball inside to Pejanic off the post and that's the first effort of the game inside five minutes. And the post, the only thing denying us. Pjanic, second chance, nope, lays it off for Cancelo. Back to Pjanic, has a better chance this time and a fantastic save by Sorrentino there in net. Who, for some way or form, managed to get a hand on that one. Brilliant bit of play by him, because all over them here in the first ten. That's a brilliant save, somehow gets a hand to it. Bala into her chance here. Oh, not sure if it was a shot or a pass or what happened there. Back to Pjanic, has time, has space, he's not going to miss a third time. Opens up the account and that is an absolute fantastic shot. Brilliant play, unselfish pass there to Matuidi, gets himself the chance and really the defender had no chance to get near that, neither is the keeper. And the Piccolo, I think that's what his nickname is, just slots it home. I, ooh, we could have done a bit better there. Keeper gets the hand there, but too late. And I'm a happy manager. Oh, she. Bloody's got space. Bloody's got chance. <laughs> Bloody, take a bow, son. That is absolutely unbelievable. I want... I need to watch this again because I'm not even sure what happened here exactly. Did he just toe box in the top corner or something? What a finish. Just perfect height, perfect shot, perfect power, perfect trajectory. I mean, that is beauty. Absolutely brilliant. 2 0 up here. That's exactly what we want to see. No. Delish with a foolish, foolish, foolish hit there. That is going to cost us big time. Well, I'm dominating here and just, just leaves that foot out there a second too long. I think he knew it when he did that. That was going to be a penalty. And here they go. Heron versus Miller. And who Miller is or... Do. We're going to have a look here. Ah, that's a great penalty. Perry Mila with an absolute beauty. Aaron, do you know nothing about it? They've only attack here. And yep, that's fine. Thankfully, no problem there. It'll take half time. 2 1 up. And a good half, but a poor penalty from Matthias Delit here. Has got them. Kievo, giving them a slimmer of hope, I'd say, but you know. We've got to be better in the second half. Got to keep out those mistakes like that to give the penalty away. But yeah, I think we'll score two more goals. I think hopefully we'll get a 4 5 1 win. And that will be a you know, pretty good day at the office. Dybala had a lot of success down this side. Okay, going to go on myself this time. Dybala with a chance. The right foot strikes gold. And that is the shot we needed. Brilliant finish there. Goes over to the rival fans. And cheers it away. Brilliant, brilliant finish there. We've had some success down that right flank all game and only felt it was right for Dybala to get a chance to have a shot and get his name on the score sheet. And that's exactly did there. Beautiful execution. Right foot. Slashes it. The keeper can only stick a hand out after the ball's gone. There it is. Substitution time. Chiesa for Belotti. Pedrado for Dybala and Pjanic coming off making way for Emre Can. Lovely work from Quadrado. Ronaldo lays it in beautifully for Quadrado. What can he do here? He can make it four. Of course he can. Clinical from the Colombian. And that is how you finish here. Lovely back flick from Ronaldo. I mean, that's just executed perfectly. And a wonderful strike into the top corner. Beautiful finish. Couldn't hit that better if he tried. Four one up now. Three points all wrapped up in a bag here. Oh no. Oh, I got straight red. Well, I lose my temper here with five minutes to go. Probably a poor mistake on my part. He's just so annoying when they block the ball away from me like that. And yeah, Blaise Matweedy. Sorry, bro. Off you go. Have an early shower. Not quite what I was trying to do. Wow. Okay. Um, Kiev and Verona have just come up with prime Barcelona here. And 
Well, wow. What a finish. I mean, look at the space he's gotten. I mean, I know the guys fell asleep, but Jesus, lads. You know, the game was wrapped up, but, you know, I don't think parents can be happy with that. Piss poor defending there. Can't do that against the big teams. Especially in games where, you know, it's going to be nil-nil and, you know, draws or one-nils or you're up one goal. I think that just pretty much sums up my reaction there. Hands in my arms. Furious with the response, but we should go for it, shouldn't we? No, no time for that, unfortunately. A 4-2 win here against Kievo. It's three points. That's all that matters at the end of the day. 13 shots there, 7, we had 9 on target there, 4, we had possession and we had 2 more tackles. Player of the match is Andrea Balotti, not bad, 9.6 to battle with the Nile, the blow. With the most goals, was it assist that arrived me? Yeah, probably the assist was the difference, so happy with that result, very, very happy with that result. I think it was a good job of the team, and Tweedy missing next match, that was pretty poor, but um, overall very happy with the team. Episode 1 in the book here, one game played in the league and one win. We currently reside on top over Atlanta, AC, Sassuolo and so forth. So yeah, happy that start guys, obviously pretty good to see but you know, plenty of time to mess this up and seemingly this game has been the game where I tend to for some reason mess things up. But anyway guys, delighted to be back recording, it was brilliant to get this back again. Two months off, it's been good to get this two months off though, um, it's about, about a month off making videos i feel maybe even longer but good to be back guys hope you guys enjoyed the series it's great to be with the Juventus. I, I actually do like the new career mode it's 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 a breath of fresh air and it's much needed but anyway guys i gotta wrap it up here see you guys tomorrow have a good one i'll see you guys soon peace